Oh, welcome to our weekly educational rounds here at Seclair, a listing integrative psychiatric facility located outside Delmon, Pennsylvania. My name is Jim Ellermeyer, and I'm a behavioral health therapist, and today I'm joined by two of my colleagues. On my left would be... Rebecca Beam, I'm a physician assistant student from St. Francis University. And on my right... Ashley Wyrick, and I'm a physician assistant student from the University of Mount Eden. And for those of you who have followed these education in the past, what we do is we, we, they're kind of challenging and what we want to do is to ask you to incorporate some of the things in your life to make yourself truly alive. So, uh, Ms. Becca, when a person on, when you ask a person on the street, inside and the outside world, what time is it, what's generally the response? They would probably look on their phone or watch and tell you what time they were. Sure, phone or watch, right. Now that you've been at Seclair, Ashley, when someone asks you what time it is, what could a possible response be? Well, right now. Well, right now. Could it be any other time? I'm asking everyone out there to be present and aware to reset your both your both your internal clocks and your real clocks to Buddha standard time, which is the present moment. And we have a a bit of a uh, an interpretation of a quote of the Buddha. Would you could would you read that for us back sure. please? One of the students asked Buddha, are you the Messiah? No, answered Buddha. Then are you a healer? No, Buddha replied. Then you are a teacher, the, stu the student persisted. No, I am not a teacher. Then what are you, asked the student, exasperated. I am awake, Buddha replied. So when the Buddha says he's awake, what does that mean to you? That he's present in time right now. He's present in the moment. He's living his life. He's feeling, he's hearing, he's seeing everything in his life. His senses are out there, and he's enlightened. Okay? So, but then again, people say, well, how do, how do I pop in? Our question, do you ever hear somebody pop in? I'll just pop in for a moment. Mm -hmm. Have you ever said, mm -hmm. I'll pop in and we'll see what's going on. Well, I'm asking everyone to, to just not to pop into their life. I'm asking you to be popped in all the time. And so how does a person do that? Uh, what, what are some of the things? Uh, there's a particular website out there that I recommend to everybody, and it's uh, called the Tiny Buddha. Tiny Buddha. And this is from one of their recent blog posts. So according to Tiny Buddha, ways to accomplish this is sit in stillness, go outside and feel the wind on your face, smell the fresh air, and connect with nature. Another way is connect with another person, smile, and make eye contact. If you have pets, connect with them through touch. Into your body, let it move, and feel with it. Breathe deeply. Write, draw, paint, journal, or listen to music, and take pictures with your phone or camera. Give love to yourself and to others, and lastly but not least, accept things the way they are. Sure. Radical acceptance, accepting things the way they are. If, uh, do you have a comfort zone? If you have somebody asked you about a comfort zone, what would that be, Becca? Um, I would say I had one, and whatever makes you feel comfortable. Okay. Okay. So when some people say it's a, they're, they're in their comfort zone, what does that mean? That oh. they're around people that they feel comfortable with? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, some people, when, when we say comfort zones, that's a, it, a comfort zone could be a place where we go to, to debrief and, and, and unstress, okay? However, however, most people have comfort zones that present them from being present and aware in their life. They could be, they could be depression, they could be anxiety. So the idea here is when you're, when you're inside of your comfort zone, I'm going to ask everyone out there, is there any room for growth? Is there any room for growth? No. No. So does growth, does excitement, does, does participating in your life take place in your comfort zone? Mm -hmm. So have you ever heard the phrase pushing the envelopes, thinking outside the box? Mm -hmm. And what I'm doing is I'm challenging everyone out there to pop in and be awake and come alive and be present in the moment as the, the expansion in your life, the excitement, the things that happen in your life happen outside this comfort zone. However, what we need to do and what everyone could do out there is to identify and label the boundaries and barriers that you've created for your own comfort zone, the place where you retreat to. What this is, I'm challenging everyone to pop into their life, to actually be awake, to identify what those, what those bounds and barriers are that's separating them, that's keeping inside that box. Everyone out there, and I'm challenging you and I'm telling you this, everyone out there is a balloon with an infinite capacity for expansion. Are you feeling restless? 
restless and irritable and discontent. I hope you're feeling restful, irritable and discontentious listening to this podcast because I'm asking you to blow up your balloon. And when you're restless, irritable and discontent, this balloon inside is pressing up against these barriers and boundaries that you've created yourself. And unless you can identify and label them, you're going to remain inside there and you're not going to participate and be fully awake in your life. So let's identify those. Let's expand that balloon. Let's think get to get outside the box. Some of these things that Ashley told you to do, let's get involved. Be awake. Be awakened. I'd like someone, everyone out there today to say, hello, who are you? And I'd like you to say, I am awake. Open your eyes. Be awake. Set your clocks to Buddha standard time, please, in the present moment. Can it be any other time, Becca? No. Can it be any other time other than now? No. It's impossible. Unless you've invented time traveling, which many people uh, apparently have. And again, uh, here at Seclair, we treat people. We don't necessarily treat diagnoses. And if you'd like to get involved in your life, if you'd like to identify and label those boundaries that are keeping you inside, inside that zone, inside that comfort zone, we welcome you. We challenge you to come out to Seclair. And every week we offer a free prescription, do we not? Mm -hmm. Fruits, nuts, and vegetables. Unplug your television and take up fishing. And for a truly mindful experience, we ask you to fish without bait. So, until then, our challenge to you is to do a kindness for yourself, do a kindness for another. Namaste.